Let go. What's up, guys? Liam here, and welcome. Whoa, whoa, welcome back to LSJ TV. Today is a big and important day, but it's going to be just like any other day. I'll explain. <laughs> Solid! I tell you what, Dead's Barbers, Nottingham, you guys are sick. Alan, recommend Alan. Sick. Right, so the plan is right now to head over to work. I have a class to do tonight. Um, I'm just gonna go in and have like a few hours, you know, solid work. Just make the trip worthwhile, get my hair cut, do a few bits, oh, and just have a sick and productive day. I'm a little nervous though. Okay, so we have arrived at work. Um, and the reason I say the, re the reason I say it is just like any other day is because I'm in the same place. I'll be with the same people doing a similar thing but the job role is ever slightly different okay so essentially what's happening is my progression through the company um, is happening now if you like um, and so I'll go into more detail sort of a little bit later on and yeah but just know good times ahead and yeah that, that that's it really I mean I'm happy nervous excited um, all at the same time um, and I can't wait to tell you guys a little bit more about it. So, it will involve me wearing... Well, this. I mean, you know, it, it involves me wearing this. Oops, sorry. Fifteen hour day and back to make this video. Let me tell you why. I can smell chili. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. To whoever made that, I should imagine it was my dad or my mum. I don't know. Thank you, mum and dad. <laughs> I am late home more than kind of expected, and so this has been left in the oven with the oven turned on um, for probably two hours, two three hours with a lid on it. <laughs> The chili is just black. Literally, still looks like the nicest thing on the planet to me right now though. Cheers. Mm. I love chili, man. I love chili. Right, so let me tell you about my day. Long, very, very long very very productive and also very similar to what every other day is going to look like okay so we train in between we have meetings with people we 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 we, we have um, i mean i'm sorry for starters if i sound really tired it's because i am um and i've come home and i have to make <laughs> make this video i say I have to i was just saying to everyone at work and i mean even though i'm getting home at like 10 o'clock and i left the house at like seven. I come home and I'm excited to make these and 
That, if you ask me, says a lot about how I feel about this and where I want to go moving forward with this, you know? I come home, I'm absolutely knackered, but I still perk up, get a bit more energy, a bit more, you know, alert, just thinking about doing something like this. And that says a lot. It says a lot. Literally, it's like 10 o'clock at night, quarter past 10, and I have so much to do. I have to edit this video, I have to um, make food for tomorrow. Literally, all I can think about is eating this. Mm. Thank you, parents. 30 seconds later. <laughs> well, that didn't last long. Little treat for now won't hurt, eh? Don't worry. Zero in the So my expectations going into this um, were fairly straightforward, really. Like, the title of the video, I thought it was going to be like any other day uh, and that couldn't be further from the truth purely because I was wearing d something as simple as me wearing different clothes within the gym mean that people look at me differently not only the staff but like the people at the gym look at me differently kind of not in, not in a bad way I have to emphasize that not in a bad way at all right but people just kind of do a double take like oh oh that's Liam like do you know what I mean just because I'm wearing something different I was like I said in the same place um, doing some of the same things, not not a lot, but some of the same things, um, with the same people, wearing you know a different coloured t-shirt, but the same sort of same sort of t-shirt. Like a lot of things were the same, but also a lot of things were different. And now I kind of was just left to my own devices, if you like. I had my responsibilities to do for the day, I had things in my head that I wanted to do, and I was kind of in charge of that. And that was the bizarre thing for me. Purely because I, I, I feel like I kind of went from one extreme to the other to now kind of being in the middle. Like I had complete freedom at university, doing what I wanted, when I wanted, eating when I wanted, training when I wanted, doing, like just, just doing me really, no real kind of, responsibilities. I had this YouTube video every Wednesday and every Sunday to make and, and that was it really. I, other than that, I could do my work when I had to and do what I wanted, right? So I went from that to kind of, boom, flick switch. I had a boss who had a boss and a boss who has a boss who has a boss. Like, you know how companies work and stuff, right? It gets higher and higher and I was kind of like at the bottom of that essentially, which wasn't necessarily a bad thing, you know, working my way up and all that kind of stuff. That, that that's, that's just, well, that's just how it works, right? And so I had things, tasks delegated to me, whereas I don't really have that now, and so I've kind of gone from complete freedom to being told what to do, to like having the freedom of my own kind of day and organising my own things, but not having somebody telling me to do those things, does, does that make any sense? I don't think it does. This is where you guys come in, come in handy for me, right? Yeah, I don't know what to say or who to say it to or how to say it. I pull out a camera and talk. And you guys in the comment section help me out. You guys give me advice, you know, and vice versa. We get <laughs> we get a conversation going. It's a good, positive place to be. And I cannot thank you guys enough because when I go through changes like this and like finishing university and like starting the job initially, it's hard. And anyone anyone who says change isn't hard is is lying because human humans us as people we are creatures of of habit right we like routine we like structure and when that changes when something changes um it can mess with people's heads and you know uh, i it does it does mess with me to a certain extent but this is a good change i have more control over what i'm doing i have the potential to earn a little bit more money i have a little bit more freedom like the hours are completely different they're still very long and stuff like that 
Um, bearing in mind, I've I've actually been posting on my Instagram kind of live updates of what's going on and stuff. You'll have seen me in this jacket a lot on my Instagram over the last two to to three days. And I've been having, well, I say I've been having lots. I, I had two questions. Thank you to the two. You know who you are. Two pe- two people messaged me and said. So does it, what does this mean for YouTube? If you're working more hours, are you gonna not upload? And no, I am uploading. If you have been following my Instagram, you will know the effort I've gone to to get this video out. I've been editing, sat in my car, I've had my car fully retracted rather than, like normally I sit here in my car, whereas I've been sat back here with my laptop out for the last like two hours editing on the tiny little break that I have I say tiny little break I have two hours but like normally I would train in this time but I've sacrificed that to get this video done like and then I've got to find a way to upload it I hope the Wi-Fi at work is good oh my god um, but yeah I mean I just kind of wanted to I wanted to keep this video quite um, quite simple quite raw quite relaxed and just have a chat really because I feel like I don't do that often enough it helps me it helps you guys I can grow from it you guys can well you guys can learn from my experiences as well you know that is part of the reason why I I, I do this channel you know I, I don't really know what else to say other than I'm looking forward to getting started I know what I've just said and stuff it, I, I, if it sounded negative in any way, shape, or form, I didn't mean for it to sound like that. I'm just very freaking tired. Um, if I sound monotone, I didn't mean to sound like that. I'm just very freaking tired. But I hope you guys can understand and I hope you guys can appreciate sort of the changes that I'm going through again. And um, yeah, it's, it's just another step in the graduation series, really. I mean, this is graduation episode 38 now. That's mad. That's nearly 40 episodes. So essentially one, two a week. So let's say like 20 weeks ago, we started the graduation series. That's a long time. Long time to kind of adjust, mentally process something. And now there's more changes going on. But hey, that's life, people. Change happens. Us creatures of habit cannot stay in the routine forever. Um... Right, okay, I, I'm going to round this video off here, guys, because I, I feel good about that. I feel good about that chat. I feel like, you know, we communicated, we bonded today. I hope, you, um, I hope you've enjoyed it, because um, you guys even just sitting and watching this helps me a lot more than you realise. So, thank you so much for watching today, guys. If you have enjoyed, drop a like and a comment down below. Subscribe if you are new to join the family to see the next 40 episodes of Graduation. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I'm, I th- normally, the, normally the series kind of changes around 60, 60 episodes, but I don't know. It will change when the time is right. When, when the time is right, we will move forward. This is just another step forward in the graduation journey. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Once more, drop a like. I'll see you in the next one.